Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. Or should I say Tina Tries DIY? Oh my god, that rhymes. <laughs> As you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be starting a new project and it's going to be a paint by numbers. You can't really tell what it is, can you? So I actually got gifted this set by everydaycrafts.com. I chose this paint by numbers. It's a design with a woman and with all these beautiful flowers around her. I thought it looked pretty cool and um, I got this and the size is 40 by 50. On their website, this design cost $9.99, so pretty affordable. And um, they actually saw my diamond painting video and that's why they reached out to me and was like, oh, would you like any paint by numbers? And I was like, yes. Actually, I was looking for a set to do. So this will be pretty cool. This will be my first paint by numbers. And honestly, guys, I don't remember the last time I painted something. It's been a while and I'm not a good painter whatsoever, but that's perfect because that's what these paint by numbers are designed. If you guys don't know, it's pretty much like the design is mapped out for you and there's like little numbers which match up to the paint colors. And so you just pretty much like fill in the spaces and the numbers with paint. I actually don't know how long this will take me. I don't know if it's gonna take me as long as the diamond painting. That took some time, but I, I feel like this could be a little bit quicker. We shall see. Alrighty, so here is my canvas. It came um, folded um, and this is the little photo so I can see what it's meant to look like at the end. I also got this piece of paper which is like a smaller printout um, reference image. I guess this is for um, in case I paint over any numbers and I want to check and see you know if i need extra coats or if i need to clean up any areas and i just want to know the numbers this is a good reference um, piece of paper to keep then we have all the little paint pots and they're numbered so we have 24 colors all up it also came with three paint brushes i don't know if you can tell but um, they look pretty cheap this one's like all frayed and it's like just stray rogue um, strands just sticking out. Same with these little ones. I think I might trim them. And you also get um, little nails and hangers. So I guess if you want to stretch your canvas later and hang it up, you can use these hooks. By the way, guys, check out my bruise. Biscuit bit me <laughs> and uh, it kind of bruised up. It's actually healing. It kind of looks like, um, looks like a gangrene sort of skin infection there. So don't mind that. Now I did watch some videos on um, paint by numbers tips for beginners and um, I noticed that my sort of artwork doesn't have a border around it. So I think I want to um, just go in with a ruler and pen just to draw a line around the edges just so when I paint it looks cleaner. I've got my water. I'm just going to grab a smaller brush. Actually, let me just quickly trim this first. Um, I'm actually going to do little swatches on the side here of the paint. I watched a video where um, the woman suggested to do that so you can refer back to the colors later on. And I'm also going to check if it actually covers this little black dot just to see how opaque it is. Alrighty, so I'm done creating little swatches on the side here. I can tell which paint colors are more opaque because they cover the, um, the little dot um, and which ones are thin. That probably will require additional coats to cover up um, the little numbers and lines, but at least now I have a little chart that I can refer back to. Alrighty, now I'm ready to paint. I'm actually going to start from the top first and then look at the areas with the largest sort of um, surface area to paint. And I'm going to start with the darker shades first. Apparently that's the best way to do it to avoid any smudges and um, you should leave white for last. As I got started, I really took my time and was careful painting in each section, trying to keep within the lines. I found that the paint was quite thick, so it didn't sort of like glide and cover that much area. And I made the silly mistake of having too much water in my brush, which thinned out the paint. 
and it made the um, paint less opaque though it was easier to cover more area but you know the paint was more translucent which meant that I had to go over that area again so if you're doing your first paint by numbers, make sure you dry off your brushes and don't add any water into your paint because it's going to thin it out. It's been three hours and this is what I've completed so far. Honestly, I have a lot more to go. Also to speed things up, I'm going to try to use my bigger brush where possible, especially for the larger areas and then switch to my smaller, thinner brushes for the edges. Now speaking of the brushes, they're very cheap and low quality. I feel like they've just made it just so it lasts for one project only. I found that I had to clean them regularly, even though I was working on the same color, I had to just wash them in between because the brushes would get a little bit stiff due to the paint drying up on the bristles. So just cleaning them off after a few sections really helped. Because this painting is more abstract looking, uh, I'm not gonna be too pedantic about staying in the lines. Obviously, I want to fill up the areas as best as possible, but if a little bit smudges outside the line, it's not gonna be the end of the world, especially it's just because the design of this is more, you know, like abstract and blocky. It will make this piece more forgiving if you do make any errors. I ended up spending a few hours each day painting and I actually really look forward to it. For me, it was my time to escape, to de-stress and catch up on podcasts and music. I would say I enjoyed this project more than the diamond painting. I think because it reminded me of my childhood. I used to love painting and copying my favorite show, Art Attack. Did anyone else grow up watching Art Attack? It was the best. Also, at one point, Alfred joined in and helped paint some sections. He also really enjoyed it and found it therapeutic. So if you and your partner want to start a new hobby together, I would highly recommend Paint by Numbers. Towards the end of the project, I did have to paint over some areas twice. So I found that the swatches I did in the beginning came in handy because some of the paint colors dried up and looked a little bit different compared to what it looked like in the container. So it was easy for me to find out which color needed an extra coat just by referring to the swatches. Also remember that reference printout I showed you guys earlier. Make sure you don't throw that away because you're gonna need it, especially towards the end. If you accidentally covered up any sections and don't know the numbers, you can refer back to the paper. All up, I spent a total of 20 hours to complete the piece. But honestly, I could have spent much more time perfecting each color. If you look really closely, you can kind of see some faint borders and you can tell that, you know, it's not perfect. Actually, it's far from perfect. But from a distance, it actually looks pretty good. You can't really notice any mistakes. Now afterwards, Alfred helped me put my piece in a, an IKEA frame. So I feel like it looks a lot better once it's framed. It actually looks like a legit painting, guys. Like something that you could buy at an art gallery, maybe? 
Could you imagine if some art collector bought this only to find out that it was a paint by numbers underneath? <laughs> I would be so pissed if I was them. Now this piece didn't come with any frames though they did send me like um, some white frames but I didn't end up using that. Um, but if you guys are going to start your own paint by numbers I would highly recommend you stretch out the painting first like you can buy those wooden frames and like staple the canvas onto that and so you can prop it upright when you're painting and working because like throughout the project I felt like my neck was getting a bit stiff because I was just looking down for so long and I was just like stuck in one position so if I were to change anything I would probably get it stretched or you know get an easel or something so you can kind of like work and not really hurt yourself or hurt your posture Overall, I really enjoyed doing my first paint by numbers. I've already actually started on my second piece. Um, and so I feel like it's going to be my new obsession for the next couple of weeks when I just want to like kill some time or relax. Let me know if you guys have started a new hobby yourself. Maybe you're doing your own paint by numbers or diamond painting. I actually saw some videos online on how to blend out the edges of your paint by numbers, but that is like a whole different sort of level that's like very advanced. So you, so your painting doesn't look as blocky and abstract. Um, so maybe, maybe I could do that with this one. We'll see. I don't, I don't know if I, if I want to just risk ruining it because I'm quite happy with it. But yeah, you can check it out how you can blend your paint by numbers. That is it to this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye! So